Hi, this video is about how to bypass Windows 11's driver PNP uh, stopwatch dog code. Something this happens and you have enough methods to overcome this issue. So let's go and find uh, some of the solutions. The first solution always you should consider is to repair the PC registry by running SFC. For that you have to go to the search and type CMT that is command prompt and run it as an administrator. And from here you have to type the following command on the screen or you, have, you can copy it from the description and uh, run the same command. The command is sfc slash scan now. And you have to run this command and wait till the scan, uh, scan co uh, completes uh, uh, until it finding any potential uh, errors or problems in your PC. So this is the first solution. Now the next useful uh, solution, the second one for bypass the Windows 11 driver PNP stop watchdog is inspect the volume shadow copy service that is VSS. To do that just uh, uh, you will get it here or you can type it services.msc. Now you will see a list of so many uh, services that is running in the Windows 11 for Finding the correct services which you want to run is just click on any of the name then uh, type the first letter uh, for which you want to search that is volume service or if you click on that you can see that the volume shadow copy you will get it from the list. Now just open it from here if you check it you can see that the startup type is manual. From here just draw, click on the drop down and then select uh, change it to automatic. Now lastly you can click on the apply and ok to uh, make the changes. This is the one method. And now the third solution is like you can adjust the system services. Now to do that just go and type cmd to run the command prompt I run it as uh, administrator. Now here you have to type the following commands what you are seeing on the screen right now. You can uh, copy it from the description and you can uh, run the commands directly. Now after uh, running all these commands you have to go to the following locations in the uh, windows uh, just open from here just go to this location in the C drive that is windows then software distribution search for software distribution here this is it and just uh, select the rename option then just add old dot old uh, to the name and just save it as now next you have to go to uh, Windows system then from here uh, system 32 there you have to uh, search for catroot2 and just rename it uh, as catroot2.old just rename it and now after that just then go back to the command prompt window And the, you have to uh, execute the following commands uh, which you are seeing right now on the screen. So execute these all commands one by one 
have given it in the description you can uh, copy it from there and can execute it after executing all those commands uh, you can exit the command prompt window now after that you have to open the windows uh, terminal administrator that you can do it from by clicking right clicking on the screen just click on open in windows terminal or from here just right click on it and just click on uh, windows terminal and now you have to execute the command which have you have seen on the screen right now and simply uh, press enter and after the restart and check the uh, system if the problem still exists or not the fourth solution uh, for this is you can restore your device to factory settings for that just click on the windows uh, and just go to settings and from here just select the setting uh, system and from here go uh, to the recovery and from here you can reset your PC yeah, before that if you want to try fixing the problem resetting without uh, resetting the PC you can use this option or uh, just click on the reset the PC option and then you can proceed with the choices uh, to with the reset uh, PC Now the next solution is that you can use the Windows uh, Update Troubleshooter for uh, solving this issue. For that you have to go to the uh, settings again, then go to the system and just scroll down to see that the troubleshoot section. Just click on that and just click on other troubleshooter. And from here you can see that Windows Update Troubleshooter is available. You can run that. So it will start detecting the problem if you have any. So wait till the procedure is uh, finished. You have to restart your system uh, to make the changes. So uh, there are plenty of system uh, options to uh, solve uh, the Windows 11 to bypass the Windows 11 driver PNP uh, stop watchdog code. So you can try uh, the various method from here and see, and see which one uh, solves your issue. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.